I've tried about 40 AI courses and today I'm going to show you my top three. So as you may or may not know, on the channel we've been covering AI for over two years. And across this two years, I've been upskilling myself in courses and just learning online all the way to now, which every single video is now AI. So all of this learning has really illuminated to me that you can waste so much money trying to learn it. So these are just some recent screenshots of things I've had to pay for. Databricks, Azure, different API services, as well as courses for certifications. See here, boom, boom, boom. All in all, honestly, I have spent hundreds of dollars easy on courses and API calls just to try and learn AI. So let's get into the three I would actually recommend. Number one, we have DataCamp. So DataCamp have an associate AI engineer for developers track. All these links will be in the description below so you can go and check them out. The Associate AI Engineer for Developers track, as you can tell by the name of it, it's for developers. Now, it's a structured, hands-on approach to learning, which is what I love about DataCamp and why I'm always talking about it. So one of the main benefits is that it gives you a holistic, practical perspective of how to use ChatGPT's APIs, for example, how to actually learn and understand RAG, and how to use libraries like LangChain. Now, leaning on this as well, it is built for developers. That's why the whole thing is in Python, and it has this structured roadmap on how it teaches you AI. So if we head on over just briefly to look at it, if we scroll down here, we can see that it teaches you about what the API actually is, how to use it, how to then use LLO, LLM ops, basically operations for LLMs, the way you would get DevOps. Then once you start having these fundamental concepts understood, you then start building systems. You then start using embeddings and vector databases to do RAG. We then touch on software engineering principles. And finally, you start developing LLM applications using LangChain, which is a production ready library and a framework that you can use to build stuff. So highly recommend that for that reason. Another reason is due to the subscription model. So inside DataCamp, when you were to say sign up for this, you don't just get this specific track. You can get any track inside their catalog. You can go to anyone all under one single subscription model. So on the channel, we've covered data engineering, which is kind of like the fundamental basis for how AI actually works, as well as obviously data science. And you can get all of that on here, machine learning, AI, cloud, everything you need all under that one subscription model, which I think is fantastic. Now, the two caveats here for Data Camps 1 is that it is 26 hours long and self-paced. So you have to have a bit of discipline, right? But look, there's 28,000 other people tried this. So go check it out and start for free. Additionally, it is not vendor locked in. Now, I've added in this little picture here because although no vendor lock kind of as a con, because basically you don't have, say for the other two, right, we have Databricks and we have Azure. Well, for these ones, it's like you can then go and try and get a job and be like, I know about Databricks, I know about Azure, right, specifically. But the problem is it locks you in. That's why I've got this little woohoo, because I don't like vendor lock-ins. Personally, I think that you really need to understand the fundamentals of how things work. And if you want to learn how to develop applications, which use LLMs in the modern age, you really want to check out this cert here. So that's the verdict. If you want to ship fast, if you want to use technologies which are ubiquitous, which is things like Python, ChatGPT, APIs, all for a cost-effective price, then check out DataCamp. It will be linked in the description below as my top-rated course for AI. Now, next we have Databricks. We have Databricks Certified Generative AI Engineer Associate, which is an absolute mouthful. But basically, it's how do you use Databricks to build Gen AI solutions? Because if you know about Databricks, it's a data platform. It's kind of in the name, I guess. <laughs> um, but what are the pros and cons of this one? So on the pros side of things, it teaches you the fundamentals that you need to know to get stuff built in prod for DBs, for DBs, for Databricks. RAG. What is RAG? How do you build it out? What are agents? How do you build them out? Security, because Databricks is all about governance and security. So the security measures you need for this and how do you monitor it? So it's 
as you can see, it's got this kind of production feel, but that's what Databricks is, which is why it's so costly, but we'll get to that. Secondly is the blueprint. So let's open up this link here, which is the guide. So you can see it on the website as well, but this opens up directly to the guide. And here we have a direct blueprint of everything you need to know. So this does have an exam at the end. The exam outline is in here and it tells you everything you need to know. So a really good blueprint, although it is pretty chunky and it's all stuck inside of Databricks. Um, but speaking of Databricks, being stuck in Databricks, you do get this cert at the end. And then Databricks, they have over a million followers on LinkedIn, which I was pretty surprised at. Um, but I'm putting this here as kind of social proof, if you will, that it is a highly sought after skill, Databricks. Because if you're not in the industry and you don't know, everyone talks about Databricks, everyone wants to know it. And um, that's why, you know, these videos, oops, have so many views even across time, so that's three years ago and nine months ago, and it's still just as popular, if not you know, much more popular than ever before. Even I have a video on Databricks. Quickly, whilst we're talking about certs, DataCamp does have certs, or it offers uh, certifications, which you can go and get. You get data analyst ones, data scientist, data engineer, and you do get an AI engineer one, but it's more geared towards data science. So although the developer track would you know, teach you the fundamentals of AI engineering, doesn't teach you the fundamentals of like how to build LLMs. But honestly, no one's really doing that. That's not gonna be your job. It's gonna be how to use AI. So anyway, the cons for Databricks. So number one, Databricks lock-in. Now, if you've ever used Databricks, it can get complicated pretty fast, especially if you're a newbie. As I was saying, it's all about this security and governance thing, this unified data platform experience. If you have no experience in data, it's going to be a nightmare. And of course, it locks you into Databricks. If you get this cert, then you know about Databricks, but it doesn't teach you the fundamentals in the same way that you could take it everywhere else. But it does teach you a good basis as to how a data platform should look. Additionally, kind of leaning on this same feel is that it is not for people at the beginning of their AI journey. If you don't know much about anything, <laughs> AI or data, don't do it. You really want to have, you know, been in a few science fairs, built a few AI agents type of thing. Finally as well, it is, or it can be, extortionate. So you can learn about Databricks and Gen AI through tutorials and YouTube and stuff, but it's not got that structured feel. To get the structured feel, you have to either do their self paced courses. So if we go here and scroll down, you'll see the, to get ready for the exam, da, 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 we have instructor led, instructor led or self paced. The self paced one, I couldn't find a full one for free. You still have to pay for it. Um, but you do get in the Databricks Academy different modules you can do, but they don't appear to be for this specifically. So yeah, it can be pretty pricey as well as like if you leave stuff running, like your AI agent's running, it can rack up really fast. And I'm meaning like, you know, $10 a day, which doesn't sound much, but you forget about for a month, it's $300 you owe them, which is like, depending on where you are, multiple years worth of data camps. Anyway, the verdict for this, it's for people who already know how to, you know, lay the initial bricks and want to now build more. Businesses love it, but it is a bit complex and it might burn you through money. But the main point here is that the industry kind of loves data bricks right now, um, unless you're Zach Wilson on LinkedIn. Is it Zach Wilson? I think so. The engineer guy. Anyway, so thirdly, finally, Azure. Microsoft Certified Azure AI Engineer Associate. Another absolute mouthful. Basically, AI engineer. So the pros and cons here for this cert or for this course. Number one, it's Microsoft, right? So it is industry recognized. It is, you know, kind of a gold standard certification for people in the corporate world, right? And it's an Azure cert. Now, it teaches you all about the AI services. So all of the AI services that you get or the services which Azure give to you, provide, they, uh, it teaches you all of these, right? So things like AI vision, speech, um, the open AI service, how to use that, etc. right? Um, even like a bit about vector databases, things like that. If we go onto this cert page here, you can see more about it. We scroll down, you can see um, how to prepare for the exam. So let's come back here. So I already talked about that here. <laughs> the next uh, pro about it is that it has 
<laughs> da, 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 da. The exam. Now, I have a picture here of someone teaching. It doesn't actually teach. These these are like self-paced ones, so it's not like someone live in a lecture. And as you can see, it is pretty long, um, and it obviously is Azure-specific, but it's good that they have this ability for you to, you know, start from the top, go to the bottom completely for free to learn about it. But you do have to be really disciplined to do that one, because um, it feels really disconnected. Anyway, the next one here is Sandbox. So it gives you access to a sandbox. So you can actually go and try out these things, which is how you learn, which is another flagship thing of Data Camp, is they teach you basically in a code, like a code environment. So you can actually go on and use notebooks online. So you don't have to run anything on your own computer, which is cool. But anyway, they have Sandbox here for um azure and they have like a practice assessment as well which is pretty cool but we'll get on to it in a minute um practice assessment and stuff they're not ideal but anyway yeah so we have that and there, there are even some videos for tips and tricks for the exam now as for the cons number one is that it does lock you in right to azure obviously same as databricks and this can be good if you're going to go and try and become like an azure ai engineer but the way that it's teaching you about AI here, it's less about how to actually build out the applications and it's more about how to host them, really, um, because it's a cloud platform, you know. But as you expect, you're not learning how to, say, become like a Python developer if you try to learn Python using Azure. You learn how to develop Python applications on the Azure platform, which is more of an architectural idea, which is why sometimes if you're looking for AI stuff in Azure, you'll find like DevOps and Cloud roles more adjacent to it um, rather than developers, which this is more about Python experience, um, generally speaking. And obviously it's locked into Azure, so everything you learn is proprietary to Azure. Although like all cloud service providers, I mean, this stack probably exists in AWS as well. Another con, an extra con for, for um Azure. But anyway, we have here the example questions. So you can get these if you go to the cert page and go to take practice assessment. Then it'll open up, you get like 50 questions just like these. But as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see from these, they are multiple choice kind of scenario based questions. You don't get much hands on stuff. Um, so there pretty much is, I'm sure there is no hands on coding. Um, as far as I'm aware, for any of this, at the time of recording at least, it's all just like, you are doing this, what do you do next? And then it's a multiple choice answer kind of thing. So this won't give you the the depth of experience that you're wanting. Additionally, it is not for beginners. So if we look here at the Azure roadmap, you have fundamentals, associates, and expert certifications. It's kind of similar actually for Databricks in this regard as well. Um, because this is the uh, AI engineer associate, you can do the Databricks fundamentals for free, which is pretty cool. Um, but you could just start Data Camp, start doing their fundamentals for free, and then switch to paid when you get deeper into it, because this starts from zero. But anyway, back over here, we have the fundamentals. You get Azure fundamentals and AI fundamentals. So these are kind of, let me change this color so you can see. These are the two that you're really going to be most interested in, mainly. AI fundamentals, you probably could jump straight into it. Um, but Azure fundamentals, it's good to understand the platform you're going to be trying to use. Then after that, you're moving on here to the Azure AI engineer. So you can't just jump straight in. It would be quite a deep learning curve. So my verdict here is essentially, if you want to you know, pass through the HR door to get a job as an AI engineer or the DevOps slash AI, AI engineer within DevOps or whatever, Azure AI job. On LinkedIn, you'll pass through this HR door. This is the cert for you. Additionally, if you're on a platform like Azure or even AWS, check out AWS as one. But I work on Azure right now, so Azure will be the one that is obviously most suited to me. So that is my top three, or those are my top three courses. Honestly, dodgy grammar. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried any of them? Have you, you know, any good pros, cons? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, like the video. Remember, all the links will be in the description for the courses. Go check them out. Let me know how you got on. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.